In Yemen, pro-democracy activists have urged protesters not to display banners of Osama bin Laden to avoid giving the government an excuse to crack down. It's been fighting a long-running battle against al-Qaeda militants, especially in the poor Gulf states' remote provinces. The authorities have welcomed the U.S. operation. So have some people in Sana'a, although there's also disapproval for the way bin Laden was buried at sea. This makes a mockery of Arabs. This proves that Arabs have no say in anything and don't carry any weight, he said. But there was little sign of open support for bin Laden or his cause in the Yemeni capital. We felt sad about his death, as if he were Yemeni, she said. But then she went on to add, he did ugly things, and so I say he deserved to die a thousand times, not just once. There have been fears that Yemen's political crisis, with President Saleh refusing to go, could trigger chaos, allowing al-Qaeda room for manoeuvre. In Afghanistan, there have been the first signs of attempted reprisals. The authorities say 25 foreign fighters were killed or wounded after crossing the border from Pakistan. Kabul is on alert. Some wonder whether NATO's war is focused on the right country. Osama bin Laden was found by Americans in Pakistan, and poor people are getting killed by bombings in Afghanistan, says this newspaper seller. The government should ask why NATO is bombing places in Afghanistan when the terrorist was found in Pakistan. So far, the Afghan Taliban have not commented on bin Laden's death. Their counterparts in Pakistan have threatened reprisals.